bicker. Friend, we all say things in the heat of the moment we don't really mean, don't we? No one would really wish to be alone. Okay. People seem to forget that you lost your sister as much as the kids lost their parents. I was with her the day she died. She was asking me to go away with them, but I couldn't. New Year, plans, everything. Maybe I could have been a more help had it not been for my popularity. Just because I don't have a family of my own does not mean I'm going to be on my own for the rest of my life. I do have my own friends, you know. And where did you find them, then? The bottom of a glass? I resent that insinuation, Abigail. I haven't touched the drop in years. Do you know, for such a vocal disciple of the Jewish faith, you don't have to tell some porky pies, sis. I saw you drunk two months ago. That was a one-off. I was emotional. Was that when you realised what a sad, lonely old wretch you are? An orphan. That's what she said she wanted to be. Abigail said the same thing once. Hmm. Lucy and Abby. Both young girls who don't want parents when you're one of the options. What's the matter, Rachel? Fancy a drink? That was the last time, wasn't it? When Abby rejected you. Shut up! After all those years of looking after her, still, you can't blame her, can you? I mean, who in their right mind would want to spend the rest of their life with you? Rachel, I'm only here because you've got no one real to talk to. Nonsense! I will prove it to you. Today is my last day of freedom. Before the children are mine, and we depart for pastures new. I will not be spending it alone. You see, I never wanted children until now. Flexible, efficient movement in social circles is so much easier as a single, free-roaming entity. You make me quite jealous, Rachel. Sitting at home with my studies. Still, we all make choices, no? No. Not really. Sorry? No, I'm the sorry one. I've been lying to you, Rabbi. The only reason I want these children, need them, is because otherwise I will be totally alone. No one wants, needs me. Please, that's not true. How not, Rabbi? Do you want me? You see? No, I, 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 I mean... No. Don't explain. Nobody else ever has. If you did, I fear it might break my heart. Please leave. Rachel. Just go. Now. Nicely done, Rachel. Really showed off your conversational range. <sighs> oh, he was an unsociable wretch anyway. I'm going to go and find myself some real company. Young pop star like yourself must have had his fair share of groupies. Yeah? <laughs> Try to stay away from that side of things. Saving yourself for that special person, are you? No, I wouldn't bother. Because you can wait. And wait forever. And never turn up. And then you're left waiting again. Wondering what could be so wrong with you that people did.
sing for me, Django. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like that lady with the mystic smile. How does it feel to be a woman at last? I feel... nauseous. That you don't remember the moment you've been waiting for for your entire adult life? <sighs> Not a bad catch either, considering your age. Django? Did I read? Really? <gasps> you were a natural. Talk about alcohol lowering your inhibitions. You really show this community that Rachel Corcoran is not to be messed with. Did I make a fool of myself? Not at all. You showed them who's boss, and Django was so impressed. Really? Would I lie to myself? Oh. <laughs> I tell you, Keith Moon couldn't have put away that much pina colada. Django. Oh, don't worry, too soon to be yours. It was wonderful last night though, wasn't it? Are you okay, Miss Colgren? Don't be so churlish. I wasn't so drunk that I can't remember. You were drunk enough not to be able to talk. And rude. Then sexy with jungle. Disgusting. Um. You mean we didn't? You were ill last night, eh? I took you home because you weren't capable. Nobody else offered. Not surprising how nasty you were. Um, you must excuse me. I think I've made a mistake. She can't look after Ben. I will. Yeah, no, 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 no. Rachel. Donna's right. I, I'm not capable of taking Ben. Everyone does stupid things when they're drunk. Not like me. Why must mornings after always be like this? But this afternoon is your last chance to get those children while they're still young. Condition them to love you. It won't work. They'll grow up and decide I'm abhorrent, just like everybody else. Even you think that. But I am you. Exactly. Do you know why I see myself in you? You're young, pretty, popular, and you ran away. Rachel, you're not all bad. I can see the love in you. But look what happens when I try to show it. <laughs> <laughs>